Mill decks have been on the fringes of competitive play for some time, whether it's Durant Mill or Wug Trio, we don't really see them crop up in competitive play too much. You'll see them on the ladder from time to time, but today we are looking at a Mill deck that has caused some massive damage in Japan and is one of the best Mill decks we have seen in years. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Great Tusk. Great Tusk is an ancient Pokemon with 140 HP. It is a very big basic Pokemon with a massive retreat cost of three, and it does have an attack that you might use sparringly, but really we are using it for land collapse. For two colorless energy, you get to discard the top card of your opponent's deck, but if you play an ancient supporter during that turn, you get to mill four cards from your opponent's deck. So the general idea of the deck is that every turn we want to play an ancient supporter and mill four cards over and over again until our opponent runs out of cards. And it's a really interesting strategy. It can be tough to keep up, but we do have a bunch of pieces that help facilitate that strategy. First off, we do have the Radiant Greninja here, which we can use to discard energy and draw two cards. Discarding energy also helps make Sada's Vitality possible because that needs energy in the discard pile. We also have Pidgeot, which helps us prevent from decking out. It's Vanishing Wings ability lets it go to from your bench to your deck with any card cards attached as well. We have Mawile here as an alternate win condition. It's Tempting Trap prevents your opponent from retreating. And in certain decks where your opponent's not playing switch cards like a Lugia or a Gardevoir, you can force them into a situation where they just can't win because you trap something that literally cannot escape. And last but not least, we have a Comfe here. This is not a Lost Box deck, but I love the synergy within the context of Great Tusk because you can use Flower Selecting to look at the top two cards, keep the card of your choice, and then we can attach a Rescue Board to Comfe as our pivot to get out of the way of the Great Tusk from milling. And then in between KOs, we can bring the Comfe in, look at some more cards, and then pivot out so that Great Tusk can attack again. We have multiple copies of Rescue Board, so uh, if Comfe is not it, you could also use it on Mawile or Pidgeot or Radiant Greninja as a pivot. And then yeah, so our counts, it's four Great Tusk and then one of everything else. Not many Pokemon in this list. For trainer cards, we've got one Heavy Ball to get a basic Pokemon out of our prizes and put it into our hand. Incredibly important because half of this deck is just one of Pokemon, so Heavy Ball will help get those Pokemon out. Counter Catcher is going to be an incredibly important card for us because we're not taking any prizes. We're just milling our opponent out. And so we're going to be behind on prizes most of the time, which allows us to use Counter Catcher to trap something in the active and mill away. Four copies of Poke Gear 3.0, incredibly important card in the deck because we want our, we, we need to hit our supporters every single turn. And Poke Gear lets us dig at the top seven cards of our deck and find a supporter that we find there and put into our hand. There will be times where Poke Gear doesn't work. Try and sequence your cards to give you the best chance of grabbing a supporter out of your deck. We've got Town Store here, which can help us grab some of the many tools that we have, including Rescue Board, Ancient Energy Booster Capsule, and Hero's Cape. Booster Capsule and Hero's Cape are meant to boost Great Tusk's HP. Ancient Booster Capsule it increases Great Tusk's HP by 60. And then Hero's Cape, which is our A spec, we can only have one of these in our deck, boosts Great Tusk's HP by 100, making Great Tusk incredibly difficult for a number of decks to knock out in one hit. Artisan helps us get our non rule box basic Pokemon from our deck and put them onto our bench. Great for getting out the Great Tusk, Mawile, Comfey. The only thing it can't get out is the Greninja and the Pidgeot, which is fine. We also have Palpad to get our supporters back from the discard pile and put them into our deck. Four copies of Nest Ball to get our basics down. Uh, we've got Sada's Vitality to accelerate energy and draw cards. We get to choose two ancient Pokemon, attach an energy to each of them, and then draw three cards. So that's our our primary, well, I wouldn't say our primary, but one of our key ways of accelerating energy while also drawing cards. Tracking Shoes can also help us draw cards. It helps you look at the top card of your deck, and you can either keep it or discard it. And there's some discard synergies here, here as well. We can discard energy and use Sada to reattach it. 
super rods, we've got lots of them. Three, in fact, to in order to get our Pokemon from our discard pile back into our deck. And we run a lot of them, one, to make sure we have great tusks online so that we can mill, and also just to prevent ourselves from decking out, in particular because the Explorer's Guidance card is a, a double-edged sword, per se. It's a really great card, lets you look at the top six cards of your deck, keep two, and discard the other four. But because you're working through your deck six cards at a time and discarding four of them, you are also milling yourself out every time you play this card. And I've found that every time I play this deck, I'm very close to decking myself out as well. And in part because Explorer's Guidance is also milling ourselves. So it's a great card, helps us fill the requirements. So Land Collapse does four cards. We can find multiple combo pieces with the Explorer's Guidance, but be careful because this card is also milling you out. We also have Earthen Vessel here for um, getting our energy from our deck and putting it into our hand. We get to discard any card. Oftentimes, I like to try and discard energy with Earthen, Ve Earthen Vessel so that now we have energy in the discard pile, plus have energy in hand and can accelerate with Sada's Vitality. And then for energy, we've got six basic fighting energy, four double turbo energies. These are going to be great for powering up Great Tusk in one turn. And then Jet Energy to launch a Great Tusk into the active from the bench. In particular, I like using this when your Great Tusk in the active has been damaged and you can launch a fresh one into the active, forcing your opponent to have to gust to get at the damaged one. So yeah, general game plan, set up your great tusks and then mill four cards at a time by making sure you've got supporters in hand to play every turn. Greninja can help you draw cards. Mawile can give you an alternate win condition with the trap. Pidgeot prevents you from decking out yourself and Comfey's there to help you draw cards in between. Now this video is a little short. Unfortunately, my schedule is very tight right now and I'm recording this like in the middle of my baby's nap. So only had time for one match today, but I think it's a great match that showcases the strengths of this deck. Let's get going. Artisan, hopefully we hit a double turbo energy buddy pop in. Looks like a raging bolt deck. That's kind of annoying, but not necessarily the worst. And because they raging bolt in this particular matchup is not the most efficient. Oh, Garchomp. Okay. Uh, I think this is actually pretty good. <laughs> I think they're gonna have a hard time dealing with us because Garchomp is not gonna do enough damage especially if we've got all the capsules on it's two hit KOing. They do have free retreat, so that's kind of annoying, but let's see what we can do here. I kind of hope we can get a, a Sada's, either trying to play for a Sada's Vitality or go for Explorer's Guidance and try and get a double turbo energy that way. But we really want to hit land collapse right now. Yeah, Garchomp Raging Bolt. Yeah, Raging Bolt is not great in this. Like, yeah, they, it can knock out, but like you're burning energy and then you have to find ways to keep the energy on. It's a whole thing. So let's go on Heavy Ball, see what we get. Uh, nothing there, unfortunately. And we do get a second Great Tusk, which is great. Let's go and mill some energy out. And a couple ways to go about it. Let's go and I think we can Artisan for Greninja. No, we can't guard on for your ninja. What am I doing? Okay, let's go and let's thin with Artisan, regardless. And we could even Mawile. I'm not going to pull out the Mawile yet. Let's go with a third. Let's go with a third Great Tusk for now, which might be over committing to the bit a little bit. And let's go Poke Gear, see what we get. Can we get a Sada here? Sada would be nice. Yeah, we, we can Sada actually. Yeah, let's Sada first. And then we can get land collapse rolling. And then we can save Explorer's Guidance for the following turn. Even if we're only milling one here, we still get the, or we're only attaching one. We're still drawing more cards. We can go and attach. Ooh, actually I'm gonna hold off. Uh, Yeah, cause they could still swing into one of these other ones. So let's hold off on the Ancient Booster Capsule cause maybe they gust KO. And let's go mill four cards. Boom, get that rare candy out of here. I'm almost certain they only run three of those, so that could be a problem for them going forward. Getting a Greninja down would be very nice because we still need to attach energy to another one. The Slitherwing is kind of annoying, but it's not the worst. 
here. So let's go and see what they roll with. Okay, they're going to get their Garchomp going and swing for 160 on the Great Tusk, which is fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, because they're only two-shotting Great Tusk right now. Yeah. And if we can just keep hanging around like that for the foreseeable future, like, we're we're goaded. Okay, Explorer's Guidance is probably the play here. Okay, Nest Ball for... Ooh. Yeah, we only have two. Let's go and Greninja right now. And draw two cards. Hopefully, off the Explorer's Guidance, we can get something else. The Hero's Cape is fantastic. I could Sada again and see if we get... Actually, you know what? Sada might be the, the play here. Draw more cards. I know we're only attaching one, so it's not necessarily the most efficient use. And we get the Jet Energy, and we actually get the Hero's Cape play too. That's kind of awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to... Great Tusk, launch into the active, and we are going to Heroes Cape up and force them to attach like a whole bunch of energy. Now, I could Comfey here, but they could they could get a Sonic Dive on the Comfey. So the Comfey is actually not great in this matchup at the moment. So we've got two of our trainers down, two Sadas. I'm actually going to get throw those back in. And let's go mill some more cards. And I don't think we need to attach the capsule here. Nothing is... Ah! They could vacuum. They could... Va it's not worth it. It's not worth it right now. Let's go and land collapse. Get rid of another four cards, including another Garchomp and the Sandy Shocks. Whew! Yeah, it's gonna... They're gonna have to burn a lot of energy on the Raging Bolt in order to get through us and also the sh sandy shocks is not going to work in this matchup because that only kicks in once four have been taken out i would imagine they go for the oh they're gonna go for the greninja okay yeah sure yeah they're gonna have to keep using garchomp to flood all the energy in order to to knock us out here and that's fine <laughs> that's fine okay we got the explorer's guidance we could, yeah, I think we're gonna, we don't have any energy right now, so there's no point in, okay, we get another, ooh, let's get another Explorer's Guidance, and of these cards, I think we grab, I don't want to get rid of two Super Rods, or yeah, two Super Rods, yeah, let's get, I'll get rid of the Capsule here, that's fine, we'll hold on to the Guidance and the Super Rod, we'll get rid of those four, and we will swing again for another, and let me just double check here, yeah. We're gonna mill another four. Yep, throw those out, the Irida, the Rod. <laughs> Looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, once we get knocked out, if we get knocked out, yeah, they can't afford to move Garchomp out because Raging Bolt is too inefficient. Okay. Yeah, they might. If they throw the Raging Bolt in, you have to burn all your energy to knock me out. Okay, all but one. Sure, and you're going to get a KO here, and that's fine. But now, now how are you attacking? And I would have put the extra energy on the Garchomp so that you could potentially get a retreat play. Because otherwise, like, you're going to have to... Now, how are they going to get energy on? The Raging Bolt's not doing anything in this current state. Okay, we get a another energy. There's two. Let's go and Poke Gear and see what we get. Um, I could Sada right now. Yeah, let's Sada right now. And I'll bench the, the third Great Tusk. And I know we're only attaching one at a time here, and that's not a good use of our energy right now but hopefully we can find a double turbo i cannot believe we haven't seen any double turbos thus far are they even in the deck let's go and shuffle them up let's just go see how many double tur i should have looked at the beginning of the game 
to see what we even have. We got three Sada, two Guidance, one more Pal Pad. We have three double turbos and one more energy. So we're fine. We're fine. Let's hold off on that for now. And I don't think we need to panic and throw any Pokemon or energy back in the deck at the moment. We just keep milling. Yep. Get rid of your vessel. Get rid of some more energy. And this is going to start to look grim for them. Now, where things could drop is after this Explorer's Guidance, we have to hit something. We have to get another, uh, another supporter here so we can keep milling at this clip. And I'm not sure they're going to find it here. I think... Like, this is going to be a tough matchup for them regardless, just because the way their system is built is Garchomp is entirely... It's Garchomp for the early game and then Sandy Shocks for the mid to late game for accelerating energy to reaching bolt. But if Sandy Shock... If we're not taking prizes, Sandy Shock does nothing. Okay, they're going to sue Garchomp to get more energy on the board, which makes sense. But tons of... Okay, they can accelerate fighting energy to the discard pile. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Three. I think we're still okay for time. I think we're still okay. Okay, we might want to Super Rod at this point. Yeah, we got Asada's Vitality there. And we've got two Fighting Energy. Um, let's go and Super Rod. The, the two Great Tusks. And we might as well throw the Greninja in there as well. Just to beef up our deck a little bit. Let's go. And I didn't need to use the Nest Ball there. I actually should have used the... And is there a, a trap here? We could Tempting Trap this Greninja later. Uh, but I don't think we need to do anything drastic yet like that. And let's go and play Asada's Vitality. Attach some energies. And there's our there's our double turbo. And uh, you know what? I'll get rid of Artisan here. I think there's one more fighting. Yep. Yeah. One more fighting energy here. And we can attach that to this Great Tusk. And hopefully... Yeah, we mill some more stuff. That should be four. Yep. Nine. How many more HP modifiers do we have here? One, two, three, four. We should have two. Uh, one more. Okay. Yep, they'll go and knock out this Great Tusk. And we need to hit one more supporter off of the Explorer's Guidance in order to win this. And how? where's their lightning energy at? Is it all here? They probably have one more lightning somewhere. Okay. Let's see if we can close the deal here. Um, I'm going to Nest Ball for a Greninja right now. And... I will actually get rid of one of the double turbos. There it is. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the comp or the the Mawile down just in case. Just in case. And super rod, do we want to super rod anything right now? No. I don't think so. Yeah, let's go and explore his guidance. And we will put a, yeah, we can put a counter catcher and a, ooh, counter catcher and then the Mawile trap would be pretty sick. I think we have enough supporters here for the rest of the game. Yeah, let's hold on to, actually, let's go and take the ancient booster capsule here because that will make this harder to knock out. Now, we do have the Greninja and the Mawile, which is actually a little bit of a problem. Um, but, and do can we trap anything here? The Raging Bolt. Yeah, if we put the Raging Bolt up, then we have to force them to find the Lightning Energy here. Uh, right now, they're not. Uh, otherwise, they have to boss. Let's go and... I'm going to hold off on attaching energy for now. Let's just go mill. Hey, 
There we go. Three. If they Iono right now, I would feel so sad. <laughs> um, we still have options. If they Iono mill right now, I'm guessing they're going to snipe right now. Yeah, Sonic Dive, one of the... Probably the Greninja. No, it's not. Yeah, I think we still got them. <laughs> we still got them. Yeah, they've got three cards left. Like, this is... Yeah, and let's actually go and super rod a bunch of stuff back in just so that when we play the explorer's guidance here we are not getting boned okay Confei is finally getting in and we will go grab ourselves a great tusk and a double turbo doesn't matter really we get ourselves down to two cards and we mill out four cards from them and we escape with the win and they have no more cards G, geez. All right. So yeah, that's kind of the general game plan for this deck is that you kind of have to hit. It's it's kind of tough, right? Because the explorer's guidances like mill yourself pretty hard, and that's going to be a challenge. And also just getting the right supporters at the right time. There will be times when you don't get the supporter, and you're just milling one card, and it's terrible. But the I think we got the general game plan down. Unfortunately, didn't get to use the Comfey there. I really like Comfey in this deck as a way of pivoting and digging through your cards, just getting a couple more supporters. And we didn't get to use that, unfortunately, in this match. And unfortunately, just due to timing constraints, like this is the only match I'm going to be able to get in today. Um, but so we weren't able to show all the tricks. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have benched the Mawile. The Mawiles and the Greninja at the end were probably a mistake because I did leave the door open for the Garchomp to get that snipe attack in. So that that's kind of a misplay on my part. But uh, regardless, the general idea is, yeah, just mill cards over and over, make yourself really tanky and force your opponent into a situation where they they just can't take you out fast enough. And we were, it got kind of close there, but we were able to get it done this time ggs there we go that is a look at great tusk mill i'm having a ton of fun with this one i'm generally not one to play mill decks at all but i really love how bulky great tusk is and how the challenge of sequencing your cards so that you've got that ancient supporter every turn so if you're looking for something different to play besides you know whacking the opponent in the active really hard or just stalling them out with snorlax or something you want an alternate win condition deck and you don't want to play snorlax check out great tusk mill but for now i gotta get going thank you so much for watching you can find me on all the things youtube tiktok twitter and instagram at in third person you can find me on Twitch at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.